Earthquakes happen every day. They're common natural events on our Earth, and they're fascinating. But there's so much to learn about these moving quakes, and so many people still have questions. So, what is an earthquake anyway? Uh, shaking of the ground? I don't know what a fault line is. I think it's like plate hitting each other. I guess they probably happen like once a week, but I don't really know though. You're supposed to... Actually, I don't know what you do when one happens. There's a lot people don't know, so let's start with a game. Okay, so we're gonna play a game. I'm gonna hand you a card that has a statement about earthquakes, and you're gonna tell me if it's true or false. All right? Yeah. Ready? Yep. You should run outside when there's an earthquake. Mm, true. Actually, no, that's false. Earthquakes happen really quickly, and so you can't outrun them, so it's best to stay put and take cover. When an earthquake happens, it's best to get under a doorway immediately. Uh, I'm gonna say that that's true? No, actually not, but that's actually very common. A lot of people think that. The safest response is the drop, cover, and hold on method. Fracking causes earthquakes. True? Yes, well, in part, it's true. In Oklahoma, it's actually the wastewater disposal that has led to events that have caused damage to buildings and homes. So, what happens is, whenever you inject wastewater from fracking back into the earth, it causes underground pressure buildup, and that's what can result in an earthquake. Okay. So, we'll give it to you. The most common injury from earthquakes is from glass. I'm gonna say that that is true. <laughs> yes, you are correct. So, shattered glass is often the cause of most injuries. So, if you're at home and you don't have your shoes, make sure you put some on so you don't get hurt. All right? Okay, so now let's go over some of the science on how earthquakes work. My name is Jake Walter, and I'm a seismologist, which means I get to study earthquakes. To explain what an earthquake is, first we have to look at the uppermost layer right here. You see, the earth consists of mainly molten rocks, and at the surface, the crust of the earth is broken up in chunks called plates. Where that crust is broken up, faults form, where the rocks want to move in opposing directions, but it's held fast by friction. When forces that drive tectonic plate motion overcome friction, that fault slips. Now, the Earth is elastic, much like a rubber band, and when faults slip, it can send energy throughout the Earth. Now, when earthquakes are big, they can create very large waves that can shake the ground violently. If a house or a school is in the way, it will shake and can lead to damage that might lead to an injury from something falling. This can happen in just a matter of seconds, so you need to move quickly. That's why it's important to know what to do when you feel an earthquake so that you can take immediate action and keep yourself safe. So when earthquakes happen, there are three steps you need to know to be prepared. Drop, cover, and hold on. Let's imagine you feel an earthquake. First, you drop. Wherever you are when the earthquake begins, drop down to your hands and knees. Second, cover. Duck underneath your desk and cover your head and neck with your arms to protect against any falling objects or debris. And step three, you just hold on. Hold on with one hand, still using the other to protect your head and neck, and be prepared to move with the desk or table if it shifts around. And that's it. Those are the three steps you need to be ready to do in an instant. Drop, cover, and hold on. And these steps work at home too. So now, your job is just to practice these, so you can immediately respond and do these steps when an earthquake happens. Earthquakes are a natural, fascinating part of our world. When you understand how they work, it's amazing to realize how connected our world is. When earthquakes do happen, though, it's important you know what to do. Being prepared to drop, cover, and hold on is important. And practicing these often will help keep us all safe in the event one occurs. Practice these steps, stay safe, and keep learning. This is only the start to understanding the fascinating world of earthquakes. <laughs>